What is going on guys? Gray here today. I'd like to talk about how the community over the last several weeks of the public test server have been discussing warning Zoss to release a roadmap. Now there were threads from players in the community, threads from content creators, even Nephis made a, a, a comment uh, talking about how a lot of players would like to have uh, you know, maybe a roadmap to kind of show exactly what Zoss's plans are for the year. And this has become a, a pretty big conversation point in the community. A lot of players, like I said, whether it be just people in the community or even the content creators talking about it. And I think it is a pretty good idea considering with update 35, there has been a lot of changes, uh, a lot of combat changes. And I kind of talked about this in past videos over the last several days, last several weeks. It's been kind of odd considering most of the public test server kind of uh, weeks start out with, with a lot of changes to begin with and then the last several weeks are mainly just making sure everything works that they have implemented. Well, this time that's not really been the case. There have been pretty drastic changes week in and week out, things getting nerfed, things getting buffed back, getting nerfed again, getting buffed again. And it's been pretty interesting and, and kind of strange at the same time to see exactly what Zoss is doing. And I think that is one reason a lot of people would like to see a roadmap saying exactly what Zoss has planned year to year. We all would assume that they would have pretty much the knowledge of what they're going to do for that year. Like I'm sure they're already working on, you know, next year's large chapter, kind of the story arc for that. But I, I'm pretty positive that everyone at Zoss kind of already knows exactly what kind of changes they want to make to the base game, you know, quality of life, combat, whatever the case may be. Zoss probably already has a good idea of what they're going to do. So it really would be nice, in my opinion, if we did get some type of roadmap. And other people have also commented, kind of talking about even having some type of pass system to go along with, you know, the Elder Scrolls Online. Most games out there now have a battle pass or, you know, some sort of pass that's, you know, connected to their content. And a lot of players have been discussing that as well in the forums, talking about how they would like to see, you know, we have this quarterly DLC. We had the big, you know, couple at the beginning of the year, the big story DLC, you know, kind of in the middle of the year, and then two more small DLCs at the end of the year. And players are saying they would like to see some type of reward system added into the game. I'm not sure if Zoss would ever do that. They may down the road. I, it, it's always something that people look at and say, you know, it's just a way to kind of put money back into the game. You have a $10, you know, battle pass for, you know, a certain time frame, so many months. And then of course, the next month you purchase the next one. And it's kind of a way just to put money back into the game to, you know, help the developers and also, you know, kind of keep the game going. Well, ESO Plus already does that. But with so many players kind of upset about Update 35, a lot of players out there saying they're going to step away for a while. So going to, there's going to be less ESO Plus subscriptions probably if people decide not to play. And I think a battle pass is an interesting idea. I'm not quite sure if Zoss would ever do it. They could really put some neat unique or neat and unique excuse me rewards in there but i'm not sure if it's something that will ever happen but i do know the one thing that i agree with 100 the one thing that i think needs to be done is zoss needs to come out with a yearly roadmap every year so we know exactly what's going to change and we don't have another situation like we did with update 35 anyway guys leave me a comment with your thoughts would you like to see you know that battle pass style system added into the game would you like to see a yearly calendar kind of detailing everything that zoss plans to do for the coming year leave me a comment with your thoughts and if you like the video hit the like if you have not subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you next time peace